Yo, what is going on, guys? JRed52 here. Man, it's been a while since I've said that. But welcome back to the 2020 NCAA Basketball Tournament here on NCAA Basketball 10. Man, it's been a while since I've said that as well. Now you guys have probably been wondering, JRed, where has it been? It's been three months since you last uploaded one of these. And let me explain. Um, for the past three months now... I've been like focusing on just like trying to lose more weight and just like getting myself in in a better mindset and I was also finishing up school and doing a bunch of other things on top of that um so I apologize for holding back on this episode for so long now but I'm finally going to do what I wanted wanted to do for so long now finish this simulation up who will win the 2020 NCAA tournament through NCAA Basketball 10. I know we haven't got to see the NCAA Basketball Tournament this year due to COVID-19, but I want to try to finish this simulation as best as I can. I don't know if this will get a lot of views because it's been a while since I posted something like this, but I want to finish this simulation no matter what. I want to get through this simulation so that way we can figure out who wins in this scenario. So the next game that we have up is number three, Seton Hall versus seven seed, Arizona. It should be very interesting. I have no idea who's going to win this match. It's been forever since I've simulated one of these games. So, without further ado, people, let's get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to third round coverage of the NCAA tournament on CBS. Sweet 16. It's been way too long. I completely forgot about most of this bracket by now. Jesus Christ. It's been a while, hasn't it? But I'm finally back to finish this up. See how the rest of the tournament plays out. I'm going to be honest, I forgot some of the teams that made it this far, to tell you the truth. So we're, both, we're all in for a surprise, I will say that. And without further ado, the Sweet 16 is finally underway after, th after a three-month hiatus. <laughs> see what Seton Hall can do. Hop step, layup, and it is an offensive foul on Seton Hall. Arizona will be getting the ball, and they're already making substitutions. Let's see if Arizona can get something going, take advantage of this situation. Ooh, pass inside. Jump shot. It's no good. Let's see if Seton Hall can capitalize on this now. They made a mistake early. Let's see if they can make up for it. Going in the corner. They do not shoot. Fader. It is no good. It is short. Let's see what Arizona can do. Going inside. Layup. And it's good, and the first points of the Sweet 16 are in. Arizona, massive underdogs going into this matchup. Can Seton Hall silence any doubt that could be creeping up? We'll see. Oh, smacking the floor. That guy's ready for prime time. Pass inside is a turnover. Seton Hall. On the fast break, it is blocked. They get their own rebound. It is no good. It hits the side of the backboard. Technical difficulties. Some TV crewmen might be fired for that, but we continue on. Oh, fade and shot. It's good. Arizona. They want to put Seton Hall on upset to work today. 23. Spin move. Ooh. Inside. And one. That was nice. What a what a move by number 23. Nice dribble moves. Leading to the and one bucket. Can he get him to take the lead? It's up. And it's good. Seton Hall takes a, takes a one point lead. 
Oh, turnover by Arizona. What were they thinking? Seen Hall, fader. Nope. Can Arizona figure out what they did wrong? They had a little bit of a brain fart there. Can they come back from this? Let's see. And the three. Nope. They don't shoot the three. Oh, pump fake, and it's a miss. Seton Hall. And they just turn it over. What was he thinking? A two brain farts in this game. Man, the three month hiatus really put these guys made these guys really rusty, didn't it? Didn't it? <laughs> oh, jump shot inside. Arizona takes the lead. I mean, after being on a three month hiatus, I mean these guys are probably rusty as heck. Let's see if they can uh wipe that rust off scene hall. Retakes the lead. Can Arizona respond? The coach wants them to win these last two minutes. Can they do it? Two minutes left on the game clock. 24 going inside. No, it's a turnover. Three turnovers for Arizona. It's been the story of this game so far for both teams. Just a back and forth turnover. Just back and forth turnovers all game. Can Arizona figure out a way to calm themselves down and and put up some points. Oh, going inside should be a foul, but they don't call it as they miss it. Seton Hall, what are they going to do? Turnover. Jesus Christ, people are just turning it over back and forth and back and forth. No one's getting any leeway on any team. Arizona, no foul call, and they miss the layup. Here comes Seton Hall on the fast break, jump shot. No good as it rims out. What is Arizona Arizona going to do? Their center's out at the three-point line. Pass inside, 24, jump shot. It's no good. It looked good. Can Seton Hall gain some sort of momentum before halftime? 23 going inside, and a nice pass as they extend their lead. Arizona, looks like they might they might fall apart. Can they shake this off? They've been scoreless in the last two minutes. They still can't buy a bucket. It's like somebody just drilled a lid on that thing, and they can't make any baskets. And a foul. On Arizona, as Seton Hall will be going to the free throw line, I couldn't tell if that was more of an offensive foul or what. Sometimes it's sometimes it's weird on how they get fouls. Let's see if Jeremy Hazel can hit his free throws. First one's up. It's no good. Hits the rim. Probably looking over at his girlfriend or coach or whatever. Getting motivation. He misses it. The curse is real. Oh, he looked to the left. It was his girlfriend that distracted him. F in the chat for him. Oh, off the backboard, no good. And a full court prayer, no good. Seton Hall with a three point lead going into halftime. What is going to happen? Can Arizona figure out a way to? Calm down on the turnover game, or what? We'll find out in the next half. Seen Hall shooting 36%, Arizona shooting 30%. Arizona needs to limit their turnovers. Seen Hall has not been making the three-point shot, and they have not been capitalizing on their free-throw attempts, only shooting 33%. Very abysmal. But Arizona, they get the ball to start the second half can they figure it out see they're going inside nope off the legs 24 is wide open oh no he gets 
rejected on the fast break and a slam home take that ball back home to mama Arizona still scoreless in the last three minutes feels like they're falling apart oh almost another turnover Arizona needs to calm down and just play their game oh almost another turnover In the corner, they take a three. Splash! Arizona just down by two points. Is this going to be the start of a comeback for them? We'll see. Oh, D3. Oh, my gosh. Was that the center? I can't tell, but that's a big boy shooting that three ball. Almost like me shooting that three-point shot in a way. Jacobson, he misses the easy two-pointer there. Going inside, and Seton Hall extending their lead. They are on 11-3 run. Crazy, Arizona, they need to figure out something, and fast. Fader, and there they go. They are just down by five points. Is playing into power in to the Pirates' uh, favor, playing their tempo. Ooh, they miss the layup as soon as I say that, or the shot. They miss it as soon as I started talking good about them. Arizona driving in, and they are going to the line. Eugene Harvey is not a happy camper about that, and I don't blame him. A little bit, a little, a little soft there, a little cheeky. Let's see if Nick Wise can sink these shots. First one's up. It's good. Arizona just down by four points. Second one's up. It's good. Arizona will not die yet. They will not be done for just yet. Ooh. That was a good trap. They just couldn't get the ball. A lot of double teaming. Bunch of double teaming going on. Good defense by Arizona. Seen Hall. What are they going to do? They, they have no idea what to do here. They're kind of stuck. Number 40 doesn't know what to do. He's just standing there. Menacingly. He, he doesn't know what to do. He's scared. Oh, he tries to drive in. And he gets fouled. He took something, he, he took nothing and made it into something. He was scared there for a second. It was like life just flashed before his eyes. He could not figure anything out. Let's see if he can uh, hit his free throws. First one's up. It's no good. If he misses the second one, that's going to that's gonna change the game on its head. He's got to stay calm and sink it. Second one's up. It's good. Arizona's not dead yet, but they need to get some points up on the board. They need the game to play into their favor. 24 backing up. Shooting a fader. It's no good. Seton Hall gets the rebound. Two minutes left. This is playing to Arizona's tempo now. If they can stay calm, they might actually have a chance. Oh, going inside 21. Misses it. Arizona, if they can play at their tempo and get points, they might have a chance. What are they going to do? Don't make that pass inside. Ooh, that was dangerous. But they make it work, and they get two points. Don't celebrate... Don't celebrate yet with those fist bumps. Play some defense first. Don't celebrate too early. Seen Hall inside. They make it. I mean, that's what I'm telling you right there. You don't want to celebrate too early. It's going to cost you. You don't want to celebrate too early. 24 on the outside. Fading. He makes it. Somehow, someway. That shot was so stiff. 
he looked like he was uncomfortable shooting that. Going inside, Seton Hall makes it with the lucky bounce of the basketball. Somehow, someway, that ball rolls in. Arizona needs some luck on their side. What are they going to do? Nice pass inside, foul. And they're going to the line to shoot two. Nick Wise coming in clutch. This kid does not want his team to go home yet. Can he hit his free throws? Look at him balling out, shooting 60% for the day. Nine points. Balling out. Makes the first free throw. Can he hit the second one to bring the game within two? It's up, and it's good. They don't need to foul yet. They just need to play solid defense. That's all they need to do. Just play solid defense. Do not let them get a bucket. Seton Hall taking their time with this. They're wasting as much clock as they, as they can. Pass inside. It's no good. What a rebound. It looked like maybe go tending, maybe, but... I digress. Arizona has a chance. All they need to do is just stay calm and play their game. They'll be okay. But man, Arizona, they will not back down. Here we go, folks. 30 seconds left. No shot clock left. Arizona, the ball is in their court now. What are they going to do? Nick Wash shoots way too early and they miss. What was he thinking? They better hope they better foul, foul a terrible free throw shooter in order to have a chance. I think they still got a lot of fouls to give, so I'll have to pick it up when they get to one and ones. All right, going to the free throw line. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Showboating? I hope you miss it. Nope. What a freaking... What a freaking showboat. I mean, seriously. So rude. Like, I mean, come on. How low do you have to be to do something like that? How low? Unbelievable. Is there, and Arizona takes another timeout. I don't know. I don't like their chances, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. They are not looking good right now. And here we go, Arizona, they still have a chance, but they need to hit a three-point shot or a two-pointer, or I would say a three-pointer most likely. They're wasting a lot of time, though. Going inside, should be a foul, and it's over. It's over. Arizona will not be moving on as the warm-up-the-bus chants are raining down now. Hopefully you don't showboat here. Okay, thank you. I can respect that. At least you're being respectable, unlike that other guy. I already forgot his name by now. It doesn't matter. Six point lead. Seton Hall just bringing in their bench guys. Arizona taking a timeout for I don't know whatever reason. I guess to talk one more time with the head coach and for the seniors to to experience this one last time man you got to feel for those kids all right let's see if Arizona can at least sink one more bucket before their season ends nope and Seton Hall moves on 25 to 19 I could have not said it better myself there Robert Mitchell and Alex Jacobson becoming players of the game for both teams. Robert Mitchell had a heck of a game. On behalf of the CBS Sports team, EA Sports crew, and Bill Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks for watching. Seton Hall will be moving on to the Elite Eight. Are they not going to show? I guess not. I thought they were going to show an extension of the bracket, but... We'll, we'll, we'll look at it when we get back into the main menu. Arizona tried, but it just wasn't their day today. Seton Hall moves on 25-19. to 19. 
The next game that we have up in store is number six seed Virginia versus ten seed USC. That's going to be a very interesting game, and I, I'm excited to see how that pans out. I can't wait to get back to uploading these videos on a consistent basis for you guys. Luckily for me, I'm off of work this next week, and um, I go back to school in like a couple weeks, or next week, I should say. Or it's, it's something like that. So I want to get this done as quick as I can before I, everything in my life gets busy again. So next game up. Virginia versus USC. So, until the next game, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell as well. Also, it, be sure to check out my best friend's channel, Super Septic 24. He also did a simulation of the 2020 NCAA tournament on NCAA basketball 10 as well. His simulation was really crazy. Go check, go check his simulation out. He did, he finished my his way before I did. So, his channel link will be in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to his channel as well. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you all later.